Tommy Macias, congratulations, you have a world silver medal. How do you feel right now? I'm really happy for it. Uh, even though it's a silver medal, I'm happy for it. This is uh, the first world medal for Sweden in a long time. Uh, what does this mean to Swedish judo and what, do you, what does it feel like to be the guy that has, that has brought that medal home? I hope that shows uh, a lot of, um, what do we say, that uh, people uh, can do this. Even if you are from a small country, Sweden, we uh, can take a world medal. And I hope the kids back home are continue training and uh, maybe they can stand here one day. Um, I really want to talk about your semi-final because it, uh, it was quite dramatic. Um, you, you got given, the, I think, the Wazari and Golden score and then it was waved and then the Shido went the other way and then it, th that got waved. And then you, I think you got an Ippo, you, you did the, uh, I think, was it one of the Tommy specials or was it just... Was no, it that was a simulation. It was a simulation, yeah. <laughs> Not the Tommy special this time. And, no, um, but that semi-final, that was crazy. For sure, I thought uh, I got a score uh, from my first simulation. And then I removed it, I don't know why. And then directly after I got the Shido, when he's pushing me out, I thought it was really obvious that he was the one who's pushing me out. I didn't want to go out and I want to go out. And I thought, oh, this is so typical. They remove my score and then they give me Shido. So what to do? And then they remove the Shido and I'm like, okay, but what should I do to win this fight? I cannot throw him. And, but then I throw him again. <laughs> So how, how do you stay focused in a moment like that, where everything is, is so chaotic? How do you manage to, to and then to be able to throw such a, a top-class player? Really, I don't know, because after I got my Shido, I thought, oh, this is hopeless. I, I, I cannot do anything. They give me Shido when he's pushing me out, and they, I cannot throw him because they don't give score for that. So after the, fight, after the Shido, uh, and I didn't get any grip with my hands or because he was pulling, uh, pushing them in the right direction. But then when I got one grip with my hand, I thought, okay, now I can do it again. And I took my chance on the throw. Um, so with this medal now, what are, your, what are your hopes going forward? I hope I will get a medal at the Olympics as well. The Olympics is the big goal for every athlete. So I hope I can uh, take this confident with me to uh, Tokyo and take a medal there also. Actually, that's a question I'd be quite interested to ask you. Obviously, there are only so many times in the year that you can peak and be at your very best. How have you managed to, because I imagine you're saving perhaps the very, very best for the Olympics. How have you managed to do so well here and then with the goal of the Olympics? Well, I'm not at my big peak right now. Actually, I got an injury for two weeks ago in my arm, so I haven't been like able to train uh, as I want. So. I'm not at my peak now. Well, that's what I'm saying. So even so, so you're saving your peak for the Olympics, and yet you still managed to get yeah. a world silver medal. That's pretty good. <laughs> and as part of your prize, uh, you got a Huawei watch. Uh, tell us what you think about this uh, this awesome prize. I don't know what the. Uh, I saw it yesterday. I got a Huawei watch. I haven't looked at it uh, more. So. Well, here it is. <laughs> yeah, is it a good watch? I don't I know anything so. about watch, but yeah, it's really nice to have a watch. It feels uh, cool that. We are on the tour now when you can win watches and so. so. Cool. Okay, thank, thank you so awesome. much, Tommy. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks.